Hey, hi, Steve. Hey, Molly. <laughs> um, so happy we're New coming Year up. to you. Yes, Happy New Year to you <laughs> as well. Finally over 2020. I think it's March 282nd today, I believe. That sounds about right. Yep. <laughs> Um, but one exciting thing is happening at the end of 2020. Um, that is for Civity's five-year anniversary is actually December 31st. Yes, five years already. Yeah. It seems like just yesterday, but a lifetime ago too. What were your initial thoughts and plans and how would you say it's evolved in the last five years? Well, the, the mission of, of Forcivity was really to make Salesforce users' lives easier. So that's really what we set out to do is to just make Salesforce users more productive. And that's really where the name Forcivity came from. It's a combination of force and productivity. Uh, um, but we actually started as a software company. We were building software as opposed to doing implementation projects. So from that perspective, we are much different as a company than we were when I first started it, but still kind of centered on that same theme, which is you know, making Salesforce lives, the users Salesforce lives easier you've kind of taken what the market has shown you and adapted to it in that way. It's very easy to get lost in that. You know, when you start a business or as an entrepreneur, you're like, no, we're gonna to stick to this. This is what I wanted it to be, wanted it to do. Um, and sometimes it's difficult to hear those, um, those cues or those, you know, hear those signals out in the environment to say, you know what, we should really consider pivoting or kind of changing our strategy or changing our direction. What would you say is your favorite uh, achievement or story to tell as you look back on these years? Oh boy. So I, I use these, this phrase, remember when, um, you know, as we've had these little milestones throughout the, the company's existence, remember when we moved into this, the, this office, or remember when we did this as a team, or remember when we landed this client, the proudest achievement that uh, I'm going to look back on, um, I'm going to say, remember when we got through 2020. Um, I have said to people many times that they don't teach you this in business school. There's no playbook on this whatsoever. And having, you know, being faced with something like a global pandemic, but also having many employees who are trying to put food on their table and provide stability and consistency to their own family. It's just, it gave me a completely different perspective of what it means to run a business. My proudest achievement for sure is the fact that everybody that works here, you know, is still here. Um, you know, it, I think it goes without saying that, that, that I think that is our crowning achievement in our entire existence is the fact that we were able to do that. Um, knowing what you know now, is there anything that you would have done differently? Yes. The answer to that question is yes. And I, the, the list is probably too long for <laughs> this forum, but I think if anything, the thing I've had to constantly remind myself is, you know, stay true to who I am as a person and really make decisions based on what my values are and what my beliefs are. I've made plenty of mistakes as a business leader, as a business owner. Um, I've had my share of successes as well. And, and you know, I think if, if, you know, if anybody's listening to this and I'm thinking about starting a business, what market are you going after? You know, really pay attention to the signals that the market is giving you and react to them accordingly. Um, you know, don't have what's called founder syndrome, where you just put blinders on and kind of, you know, pretend that nothing else exists here, except, you know, building that software or getting that thing done. Um, you know, your people are going to be your most important asset and they are the ones that are truly going to make you successful. So looking back now, I mean, I'm five years wiser than I was when this company started. Um, it definitely has given me a much stronger appreciation for, uh, a team and you know, getting through things together and collaboratively and being able to lean on each other. I know that was a really long answer to a very short question, but, uh, but that really, it, it really is all coming back to you know, the team that has really, you know, it's made it such an incredibly fulfilling experience for me. Yeah, and I think that's a theme that we've talked about a lot with our leadership team and um, making sure that the people are right and the people are happy and then the rest kind of falls in line after that. Um, and I Everybody, think we've got a really- true. You've got a really strong team in every department. So I think that's definitely helped us survive this year, especially. Everything does fall into place. I mean, mm -hmm. and that's, it's just success begets success. And, you know, if you focus on the things that matter, everything else takes care of itself. Mm -hmm. Where do you see Forcivity going in the next five years? That's a good question. And, you know, five years, you know, feels like an eternity away from present day. I mean, because so much can change. And if you think about, 
you know, we've, our lives focus on salesforce.com, which it's hard to envision what that world is like. Like what will Salesforce be like in five years? Um, the one thing though, that is always on my mind as we grow is that um, we maintain our focus on everybody's fulfillment and professional development here. So, you know, giving people the opportunity to come here with, you know, fresh eyes and fresh perspective and say, this is what I want to do for my career. Can you help enable that? And being able to provide that runway for folks to do that, um, I think is always going to be part of our core mission. Hard to look that far out. I mean, you, you hear me say all the time to the team that we're a quarterly business. It's a 90 day business with the type of work that we do. Mm -hmm. So anytime that we can see beyond 90 days, it's a bonus. So you know, looking out five years, I'm like, you know, throw a dart. <laughs> if you can predict what would happen in 2021, what do you see happening for forcivity or for technology in general? Yeah. So I think that the, the focus is going to be one working from anywhere. So I definitely can see us adapting how we service our clients um, and, you know, how we make that uh, a good experience for them. Uh, you know, so I think you're going to see a lot of um, technology endeavors that focus on that, you know, enabling productivity and connectivity and collaboration. Uh, you know, I don't think it's any accident that Salesforce bought Slack. I mean, it's a collaboration tool and there's going to be a tremendous focus on enabling the distributed workforce to communicate seamlessly. We fortunately were kind of already in the mode of doing that with our customers. So when we, when the quarantine started, it was a fairly seamless transition for us, but we also at the same time felt it was just gonna be for a few months. I think it's here to stay. And I think it's here to stay for a lot of different reasons, not because we're still dealing with the virus. I think it's just how we're used to work, working now and how we like to work. And we, I think we've shown ourselves that we can be successful this way. So, you know, we're gonna embrace that. We're gonna rally around that. And, you know, anything that enables us to be better advisors and partners to our customers, we're going to do the same thing. So we will, we'll endure through this. We've already proven that we can endure through this. We've proven that we can continue to run our businesses through this. So let's do this. Let's roll up our sleeves and do it. So uh, it's definitely a much more positive uh, bullish feel, even though we are still in the middle of a pandemic. Um, I certainly look at it with a lot of optimism and uh, excitement about what's coming. I'm excited for what's to come. I'm excited for the next five years. Um, and I want to say congratulations to you for getting us here and leading us through it. Um, and I know that you'll have a lot to celebrate on December 31st. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I can't wait to celebrate it with the entire team in person one of these days. Everyone's itching for, you know, a happy hour to ring our sales bell to just do anything. I, I would <laughs> welcome just having a meeting in the conference room at this point. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just say happy new year to everybody and, you know, to the Forcivity team, you know, congratulate all of you because uh, it's, this is absolutely a team effort and, you know, without the team, this company is nothing and with the, with the team, the company is everything. So um, I congratulate you as well uh, and I wish you all a happy birthday and uh, looking forward to 2021.